5 Fusion the GTX 1080 or the Pascal based GTX Titan X2 will rock. It's me, Jimmy, a geek. I'm not a big fan of Nvidia, I'm a big fan of AMD, but Nvidia is putting like a massive Titan on the market this year so now let me give you a little bit background before i can give you top five reason the background is that there is an upcoming pascal based gpu which is called pascal gp100 we are not sure will the pascal gp100 will be gtx 1080 or will it be titan the next titan x successor we really don't know if it's going to be the titan that is going to cost you like 1000 bucks if it's going to be 1080 it's going to cost you around six to six to seven hundred bucks but in any case i really do not see if there's like a 300 price difference i will be still buying because here are the five reasons the upcoming pascal base gp100 gtx 1080 or the titan is going to rock number five two times more performance over the gtx 980 maxwell yes per what performance i'm talking about not only you will be saving the electricity bill but at the same time two times more performance is there anything better we can wish aside from the cheesecake i really like cheesecake excuse me number four number four four is it is built on the 16 nanometer 16 nanometer yeah 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 i'm hearing all of the amd fanboys saying that the upcoming amd porous graphic card is going to build a 14 nanometer yes 14 nanometer look more sexy in an engineer marvel but we are not sure can really amd deliver on the 14 nanometer and make sure to keep this thing in the context i'm an amd fan but i wanna be honest here. i'm an amd fan but but still Nvidia 16 nanometer technology. I mean, they got the best engineer in the world. Again, I'm saying the GTX 980 Ti is one of the best graphic I ever put. I mean, compared to the rubbish Fury X, it was rubbish. I'm an AMD fan, but still, I'm saying it's all rubbish. So, number three. 17 billion transistor if you have some kind of engineering background or only you know more transistor mean more performance than you are right Yeah, it's twice the time of the GTX 980 or the Titan X transistor to be honest with you I mean, I mean the GTX Titan X have around 8 billion transistor That thousand dollar one the 999 US dollar one have around 8 billion but the upcoming GTX 1080 the Pascal base 17 billion 17 billion so finally I can game on 4k really I want a game I mean the Witcher 3 to be honest with you on 4k with 60 frames per second it's becoming true number 2 12 teraflop of compute performance I mean if you just want to build a supercomputer or you don't know how I mean to get an idea how powerful is the GPU or let's look at the compute performance not more compute for performance mean better I mean graphic but it mean the graphic card have the capability of doing the computation 12 teraflop double compared to the 6 teraflop of GTX Titan Act isn't that awesome number one so this is the number one reason that GTX 1080 or the upcoming Titan is going to rock. It's going to come with a 16 gigabyte or 32 gigabyte HBM2 RAM. If you don't know about HBM high high bandwidth memory, even I done an introduction video on the HBM memory. I'm a big fan of HBM memory. Currently, the HBM1 memory have a limitation. We can't put more than 4 gigabyte of VRAM. But after the release of HBM2, 32 gigabyte of VRAM we can finally have I'm not saying that only Nvidia will be using to be honest with you the real credit go to the HPM memory I mean the engineering model was done by AMD but Nvidia is also in the game why because HPM is an open source memory so anyone can use I love you AMD but if Nvidia GTX 10 it is more powerful than AMD hi Nvidia Nvidia uh, sorry sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, forgive me bye AMD to be honest with you, if, just imagine, if GTX 1080 can really deliver the performance which I'm talking about, but suddenly there's a miracle happen on the AMD side, the upcoming AMD R9 490X, I mean beat the hell of the outdoor GTX 1080 death by NVIDIA. It's me, Jimmy A. Geek.
click the like button click the dislike button check out the link whatever you wanna do if you are AMD fanboy want to buy some current graphic card go with the AMD R9 390 without the X if you are on the Nvidia side buy the GTX 950 for a budget or buy the GTX 980 Ti for the epic gaming bye